Hey there guys and welcome back to Circuit Breaker. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you all for the support on stage 1. It's got 65 views in like one and a half days and is way better than any other of my videos. So yeah, thank you so much. Anyway, let's get into stage 3, which is called Magnus's Pride. Magnus has challenged us to an exhibition race across Nürburgring on the track open day. Hmm, that means there will be other drivers on the track. Isn't that dangerous? We can't afford to damage this car on some street race. I'm not too worried about that. Our driver knows what they are doing on the track. I'm more nervous about how we're going to manage our battery life. Magnus is already here. Catch up to him and scope up what he is driving in today's race. Try and overtake him without damaging the car. So, for this stage... I had uh, applied all stage 1 upgrades, I don't think you need to, don't quote me on that, but I just applied them because I might as well, they're just our dollar upgrades. Anyway, we need to win this race, which is going to be that hard, right? Well, look at the other cars, we've got some Le Mans racers. Uh, which means that they'll be slower than you in the corners, but they will be faster than you on the straights. So make sure that you get a push off of them, and if you're behind them, get a slipstream off of them. That is crucial for uh, kind of getting through the pack. As you can see, I lost the car a little bit there, because in the slower corners, this car just doesn't have any grip. And if you really want to master this car, you need to know the limits in, a, in slower corners. So there we go, I overtook Magnus, gold complete, piece of cake. Magnus is driving a Mazda 787B. Can you hear that rumble? This is what a real car sounds like. We can't compete acoustically with a rotary engine, but it's not going to be a match for our raw power. I don't think Magnus has realised how outgunned he is. Let's give him a little show of strength by overlapping three opponents. So, we are up in second place, and we need to lap three cars by the end of this race, we have two laps to do so. So, as soon as possible, get round Magnus. And now, you just gotta go round the track as quickly as possible. Corner one is a very sharp corner, and it's very easy to lose it, as I've been saying this whole time. And that's how you really master uh, driving this car, and it's very useful for time trial events like the Spa one that's going on right now. For the uh, other corners, you just gotta hope that the car will stick, and it will. Now, as you can see, I went a little bit off track there. That's because I didn't put as much tilt into my device as I needed to. Don't be afraid to just tilt it further than you think it should. Because trust me, that grip is there. And here, I lifted a bit because I thought I wasn't going to make it. I probably was going to make it. It's just that fear that I wasn't going to make it. And if you are fearing not making it and you feel like you're going to complete the stage anyway just lift and save yourself the hassle of maybe actually having to go back and do the stage again anyway as soon as you overtake those three opponents that is the end of that goal stop showing off and race me properly Okay, that's enough fooling around. Let's catch up to Magnus and then beat him by 200 yards. So yeah, we just gotta do exactly what it says. Win the race by at least 200 yards and we've gotta get as close to but not under it as possible to uh, help with bot management. 
So we're starting back here in 7th. We need to get back up into 1st within... It says lap out of 2, but this is lap 0. So uh, technically it's pretty much 3 whole laps. So yeah, just get through the pack. Uh, careful not to hit them. And yeah, get up to Magnus again. If you're finding this helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe for Real Racing 3 and other content. Alright, you see that? There you go. That was not off track whatsoever. So, make sure to utilize that space as much as possible. Now this goal is very easy, as you can see we're up to Magnus and we haven't even finished lap 1 of 2. So yeah, this is going to be very easy, opening up a 200 yard gap to him. So at the end, we're going to have to wait quite a while for him to catch up, but yeah, I'm going to get to that at the end when we actually do have to wait up for him. Now I was starting to slow down because I thought that was the last lap because it said two laps at the start and I was like, oh, wait, that first lap was an out lap. So, yeah, easy mistake to make and whoa, whoa, whoa. There, I, uh, it's so easy to lose it in the slow corners. You just gotta kind of try and narrow it, get a feel for the car. Um, yeah, it, you can either get used to the car as itself, or it could be like a, a, a circuit by circuit thing where you learn the braking points and uh, the right kind of trajectory that you need to take. But yeah, again, this whole chicane, that was not off track whatsoever, again, and as you can see I'm slowing down. Uh, so that Santos can catch up with me. So, Magnus isn't even in second place anymore. So, yep. It's at 300. Okay, not gonna risk it. Don't know how much or how quickly they're gonna catch up to me, so might as well just finish it there. Uh... No! This can't be... I demand a rematch. One more lap. Could we please get everyone else off the track? We're running low on battery, but all the other cars are cleared off the track. We don't have very little time to win this race against Magnus. So, we need to complete this lap in under 1 minute 31 seconds. So, it is a 1v1 against Magnus. Now, when you're going off the line, Magnus will fly off. So, when you start, quickly pull to the right and get in a slipstream. As you can see, he just walks away. But we are going to catch him in the first corner and just fly by him. And he's never going to be seen again. Uh, wow, he took that corner very weirdly. Anyway, now you just have to go around the track. Be careful, this is now the Grand Prix circuit. So, don't turn right there. Uh, haven't done this section since the last stage, so make sure you're ready for it. And, oh, that was close. We used 0 0.1 seconds of our off track. Now, 0 0.5 seconds of off track, it isn't that much. You could maybe cut the last chicane off a little bit if you really need to. But honestly, this stage is way too easy. I don't think anyone would need to do that.
Again, not off track there at all. And going around the last corner, full throttle, but then going slowly, but giving up all of the space to Magnus. And not quite close, so I decided to uh, finish it there. I got a little bit uh, anxious. But yeah, that's that. And there we go. Just like that, stage 3 is completely easier than stage 2, in my opinion. Here are the rewards. 500 VP, 15 gold, and 25,000 R dollars. You mop the floor with him. That car is truly something else. Perhaps my nostalgia got the best of me, and uh, I was too quick to judge. So, thank you all for watching this video. If you did find this helpful or enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.